Now, something I've thought of for a while and even mentioned in my videos is a question that should be burning inside everyone when it relates to what went on here from March 2020. No, this question's not about lockdowns, the damage caused, or even jab safety. Yes, they're all important questions that have been asked and will be asked for years to come. No, the question I want answered is who in Parliament profited from it all, who had the right shares in the right companies, and I'm not just talking about during it, but in the lead up to it all kicking off who in 2019 had the inside track on what was to come and prepared themselves with the right stocks in the right companies. Now, obviously, this information won't be publicly available because the people who knew early on are smart enough to know how to hide this sort of thing. Dummy companies, trusts and offshore banks are just a few of the tools they can probably use to do this, so finding it won't be easy, but I do wonder if there's a way that we actually could. Obviously, I'm no cyber wizard, so I don't know how or if it even could be done, but a few things over the years have got me questioning whether we should be looking. Of course, once talk of a deadly virus started, you would expect rich people to put money on Big Pharma, but I'm more interested in who did it just before or even in the months leading up to it, and of course not in their own name. Anyone with inside info wouldn't be dumb enough to use their real name or companies connected to them, so the hidden ones are the real prize here. Yes, we know politicians' friends got sweetheart contracts during it, which should see them all in prison, but what about the movers and shakers who got in early because they knew the plan? As I said, they won't have done it in their own name and instead will do it with third party fronts to keep it off the books and out of the public eye. This is something the media should be investigating but obviously they're all brought and paid for puppets so you got no hope of that. Oh and the so called inquiry into it also won't be looking for any of that so don't get your ropes up there either. The best we can hope for is some independent investigative journalists going into some deep dive into it. I don't know of any that are planning to do it but hopefully a few of them do.